<laughs> oh, don't you love technology? Okay. Yeah. So, so now we're live. We don't need at all. We just need, we need <laughs> all people. Right. Look, everybody, we're live now. This is Lipstick Radio Happy Hour. I'm going to be out of the way for a minute. We're going to let Melina and Angie kind of take over this one. I'm going to be technical for a while in the background until I finish this drink, and then I'll be in a hand. Yay. <laughs> Here we go. You know, happy hour, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. This is the entrance. Cheers. 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 You know, but we are professional Ain't performers in here, we so you know what? When one month you don't stop the show, we just keep you, it pushing. You, you said so. we'll be on the show, we on the show. We on the so show. I yeah. no more than that. Yeah. We don't have to be in the restaurant. We walk through the restaurant. <laughs> 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 yeah, we do. Yeah. 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 World well, famous, world well, renowned, often talk about legend, comedian, gentleman. Wait, he said he was too far back. So we don't. Giants in a pool of mental midgets. I'm gonna play cameraman. Oh, fine, have a dash. <laughs> I'm gonna play cameraman. Have a dash. Have a dash. Yes, all these whole things. I would have dressed up if I knew he was gonna have a photo opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Denise Williamson, who's also a fabulous comedian, or should I say comedian, and she does a doggone thing. I brought with me Mr. Roscoe. Uh, this is Roscoe. Uh, Y'all might not know Roscoe, but Roscoe, um, you know, he, he's my, this is my dude. He got a couple of problems. He don't like that his, his afro is only half an afro. He really want to drink a lot. To the receding hairline. In the back. And, uh, and you notice he don't wear Blue or red, you know, except he mad because they sold these shoes on him because one of his uncles a crip and one is a blood. The you know? <laughs> problem, though, uh, is his penis. Uh, <laughs> yeah, because uh, since he's made out of cloth, even when he gets a heart on, it's soft. <laughs> you know, so that's, that's Roscoe. They just call him Roscoe because um, one day he was standing in front of Roscoe's chicken and waffle, and he was mad at his own business. And a guy came up and handed him a bag and said, "Hey, can you hold my Roscoe?" So he thought he meant Roscoe's chicken and waffle. So he was holding the bag. He didn't know it was a pistol. It was a real Roscoe. So ever since then, everybody just called him Roscoe. Right on, right on, right on. Right anyway, on. I don't even do this yet. I'm just learning how to do this. She does it for real. This is Miss Debbie. Debbie. That's Debbie. Hey, Debbie. Hey, girl. Hey. Y'all got more than y'all money's worth. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Wait. Oh, Debbie, do have Debbie, one. Like, oh, oh, check him out. He's been trying to get with Debbie, though. Yes, maybe. Been... <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to harden up his fur. <laughs> Look at his feet. He's excited now. He's excited. Like we that cloth get hard. <laughs> <laughs> so, can you guys introduce them, like, directly? Oh, yeah. Have they ever been introduced directly? They don't. Well, he's shy, yeah. so, you know. Plus, he don't like that to put my hand up his. Um, uh, I don't know. Can, can y'all curse on this show? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. we can. <laughs> hey, we can. Debbie. We doing it now. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Love that nose. <laughs> wow. Wow. So, yeah, I'm still working with that. I don't really know how to, how to really work him yet. You know, I know his story. Mm -hmm. I got his story now, and in time, I'm going to learn how to work him. But uh, right now, I was just working the Michael Kaya Mystique. Oh, it brought the camera on down. See, we in there now. Look, baby, they can see oh. us for real. My mama's going to see this. Hey, mama! Hey, mama! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're well, going to be a hell of a trick since my mom transcended four years ago. Oh. If she see us in this camera, I know something. No, she see us right there, you know. So, oh, I'm glad to be on y'all's show. Uh, is this part of the uh, RMC on live? Dot com radio is it part of that? It is. Yeah. This is our first Thursday with um with them. Oh, this is your first Thursday mm -hmm. with them. Okay. Yeah. Um, we've been Lipstick Radio has been around since two thousand six. Okay. Um, we were just on a station in New York, ninety four point nine FM. All right. And uh, we just switched to a new station that's on a few different FM stations. I see. And we just did that this uh this past it's Monday. Monday. So this has been a big week for us. It's been everything oh. new. Yeah. Nice. Hashtag everything new. Well, it's <laughs> happy hour has been around for a while. I love you. You're strong. Women, you came up in here, things didn't work, 
exactly how you expected them to, but you didn't fall the pieces. You kept it going because the show must go. The show must go on. And yeah. We're bigger than the problem. There we're you go. Bigger than the problem. There you go. Okay. <laughs> 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 Otherwise, y'all are wasting my time. Guys. What'd you say, Angie? <laughs> Wait, on. What, I, what'd you I say, said, Angie? I said Kimberly makes magic happen. I don't care what's going on. <laughs> hey, that's right. <laughs> well, you know, I have a show as well on this network. Yes, on he does. RMC, on live. Mm -hmm. .com, uh, I love that picture, by the way. Oh, oh, thank you. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. That's like, I get up late. I like That's that. right. That's what it's called. Every Monday at 3 in the afternoon, it's the Michael Kaya Morning Show. I get up late. And it's off the chain. We have great, great uh, artists who come on our show. And I'm going to invite that young man. I don't even know if he can rap, but I like his personality. <laughs> I like his little personality, so even if he can't, he's going to be a fly interview. You know? <laughs> if he can rap, too, it's going to be a bonus fire show. You know, but we have rappers and comedians and actors. Well, there you go right there. And then that's just in the house. Yeah, and so we'll be inviting everybody. We'll have everybody on the show. You know, we do six people, five people per show. Mm -hmm. And we always have a comedian, and we always have someone who does what's good in the hood. You know, so when y'all get a chance, There's your comedian over there, too. Hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there, too, I was <laughs> so shoot, I done, happy in the house. I just booked right. a bunch of shows right there, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> and Mr. Nice, tell them what you're doing. You got a new room you're about to do. Yeah, as a matter of fact, we just got a new room. Mm -hmm. it, it's it really worked out really funny because my um my uh, son is getting ready to have my first grandchild pretty soon. Uh -oh. And Saturday uh -oh. we had a baby shower. Mm -hmm. And, you know, while everybody was having a good time, I'm sure you can relate to this. I'm looking around saying, hmm, we could do a show in here. <laughs> and I actually then talked to the owner of the restaurant, and he told us that we can uh, come down. So on, um, not not the next Wednesday, but Wednesday the 19th. The 19th. We're doing it. Michael, if you want to come and see Michael, Michael's going to do what the show. Where's the show? Yeah, it's right. uh, Tony's. Tony's on Aviation. It's Aviation and 119th, oh, just wow. down the street from the Proud Bird. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. So, so we can get some about chicken. seven o'clock. Okay. Yes, I think it's fifty-five. Well, we don't usually mess with no chicken. It is not Roscoe. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, 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 it's an Italian deli, so it's, oh, it's you know pizza deli. and pasta and. No, but you said that. Oh, they have pepperoni. Yeah. No, no, from the Proud Bird. What's the Proud Bird? You don't know what the Proud Bird? I hear about it, but what is it? Let me tell you. I went to the Proud Bird. Yeah, it's like you know 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 let me oh. tell you, my I went to school. I grew up here in Compton, and I went to Willowbrook Junior High School. Okay. And let me tell you that our principal was bomb. We would have, you know, those big uh, crown buses, the ten wheel buses, uh -huh. school buses. Mm -hmm. We would have four or five of those. He would book that place out, and we would have our school dances wow. there. We were in seventh, eighth grade. Oh, so nice. that's what it meant to me. It meant a bus. lot. Crown Royal. <laughs> yeah, that's the Crown Royal. Although they, they gave us, you know, Pedia Shore. Oh, but we pretended yeah. like it was Crown Royal. <laughs> it's uh, 5544 Aviation. All right. Yeah. Bring your mama and we're going to get them all down. Yeah, Pookie. 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 Yeah, you in Atlanta? I can't hear you. I am in Atlanta. Can you hear me? Yeah. They got the volume. Well, now we they don't want to hear you. Well, we, the we, so low, girl. This is a cheap computer. Sorry. My volume's low? No. We're, you're good. Keep going. Oh. We just got to be quiet when you talk. It's like E.F. Hudden. It's <laughs> Okay, what were you asking me, Kim? <laughs> <laughs> you got some pretty lips, Angie. <laughs> Thank you. No, you're not. <laughs> It is great. <laughs> <laughs> look, Angie, look. Whole he's like, down. he's like, yeah. yeah. Hey. 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 All across the board, we all agree all across the board. Thank you. <laughs> so, Angie, you got any questions from Mr. Michael here? What made you get into comedy? And how long have you been doing it exactly? Oh, I've been in for 28 years. So okay. I'm, I'm thinking about staying. <laughs> uh, I got into comedy in 86, well, actually 85, uh, because of Eddie Murphy. Uh, Eddie Murphy was the greatest thing in the world. I picture going now, though. As oh. you all know. But um, that's okay. They can hear me. 
And so uh, in 85, Eddie Murphy was the hottest thing on the planet. He had the number one movie, the number one television show, which he was the star of, number one concert film and number one concert. You know, of course, that was Raw uh, and Raw and uh, Beverly Hills Cop and uh, uh, Saturday Night Live. And he was young and black and rich enough to pee cream. And he was all that from telling jokes. So I decided I need to learn some jokes. So I went and got me some Red Fox albums. I went down to my mama's basement and learned them damn record, those uh, jokes like they was my shit. And I started telling them in the mirror until I was good with them. Then I started hitting clubs and I ain't never looked back. You know, so I mean, well, I ain't make no money in clubs. So I started doing street performance okay. uh, in Chicago. And then uh, December came, and wasn't nobody trying to hit no damn joke on State Street. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, so, so, so we packed up everything that fit my 1967 viewers, sold everything else, drove to Los Angeles, found Venice Beach, ended up staying there for nine years, every Saturday and Sunday, five one-hour shows a day. Uh, and then through being out there, I just got hooked up with all kind of television and film because everybody and their mama saw me out there. Eddie Murphy came to my show out there. Rick James came to my show out there. Arsenio, everybody came to the shows over the years, and that just evolved into other things from that. But, yeah, I got in comedy because of Eddie Murphy and what he was doing. And then once I got in, it was liberation. You know, I was, cause I was an actor before that. Uh, but I just felt like eating regularly regularly was a better thing. <laughs> but you know, I, I want to say, though, Michael is a, a marvelous, wonderful comedian, but he is also a wonderful human being. Oh, wait. I was going to ask you about this. Some A little birdie told me something in my ear. What they tell you? They told me that somebody came into all this money well, he and then gave Star it away. Search. He won a hundred thousand. And then gave on it away. Stars. I only gave half away. Gave half and uh, I've been trying to get that back. There's a moment where people are shopping. I don't know if you've been looking. They're shopping there. Uh, I was alone. Uh, it, it was a great thing. It was a really great thing. I'm I'm glad that, that was an inspired notion. Uh, not, it wasn't anything I thought about. It just, uh, had I thought about it, I wouldn't have done it. Uh, which would have been to my detriment because doing it is the greatest thing, probably one of the greatest things I've done in my life That's because so that was 20 something years yeah, ago. Yeah, Star people Search, man. Are oh, still giving me praise for it. People are still grateful about it. Mm -hmm. I am still uh, gaining rewards from that. Mm -hmm. And I didn't do it to get anything. Right, a no. gift is not a gift. But that's you when you give back, back. when you do uh, it from you know, your heart. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're you're nice person. thank you very much. <laughs> uh, I do want the public to know that we're doing several things right now, uh, besides the uh, three reality shows and two sitcoms I'm creating right now. Um, well, what I'm doing, comics go to jail. Um, because I do a thing now where I take five comics into the prisons twice a month, and we do an hour and a half concert free <laughs> for the inmates to let them know that just because they're locked up, that their minds are still free. And then we're, we're doing um, well, one I can't tell you because y'all still that shit. And, <laughs> and the third one is called Five Fucked Up Motherfuckers. And that one, that one I'm using all handicapped artists who are, who are just absolutely brilliant oh and God. funny and we're going to do a tour to show people who think they have handicaps that really all they have is challenges. And if mm -hmm. you can do anything, if you really put your heart to it, my DJ is blind and it's fucking amazing. So <laughs> we're doing those. those are, and then I got two sitcoms. Uh, we're doing one called um, uh, Leah LaRoya and one called Michael's Madhouse. So we're doing those right now. But more, even sharper than that, uh, we have one book that dropped. I did a book uh, on my president. Called a funny thing happened on the way to the White House. I knocked right. on a door and a brother answered. So that, <laughs> that's both a book and a DVD that you can get by coming to my web page, uh, which is uh, the real Michael Callier. Oh, and there is a Michael Callier app. Thank you, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. You can go and get that right now. It is free. Let it be free, not even cheap. And you want free shit right you now. You know what? At I, the have, price I have gates. another position for you. Uh, I know Ooh. you're you're really busy. That's a hell of a thing for you to say. Well, honey, if I gave you all those positions, mm. you wouldn't even make it. But anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> tell me and see. All right. But the other position is I know like, you have all these things going on, but I mean, you're available to run for president, right? Obama's going to be gone. And with all those wonderful <laughs> yeah, things you're bringing up, I think job. we need another one. I love one. President Obama. I would want that job. I see all the shit. He went through hell to the gnaw. That's why I salute him for having the courage to do it. All you can do is go to your I app have. store, and in your app store for free, you put in the real Michael mm -hmm. Cowley, the app 
pops right up. It is a fly app. <laughs> you will really enjoy that. But uh, I'm also doing, we're doing a musical for Broadway. It is called Car Wash. Y'all know the movie Car Wash? Yeah, yeah. So we're doing yeah. it as a musical for Broadway. Um, <laughs> and it's really not just, a ref it's not just a movie with music. We're actually doing the Norman Whitfield story. I don't oh, know if wow. you guys know Norman Whitfield. Yes. Who that was. So Norman Whitfield is really a story. Tony Terry is mm -hmm. playing the lead. Oh, what? Norman Tony Terry can wow. act? Yes. Oh, my He's God. Man, oh, my God. You. He's amazing. <laughs> He's amazing. I'm telling you that right really? now. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. Of course, I, I played voices. Richard Pot Prior Park, uh, Bishop Sweet Daddy Love, uh, and the Shoe Sham Man is played by LeVan Davis, oh, wow. who is you know who played the father on House of Pain, sings his ass nice. off, stops wow. the show each time he stops the show. So uh, we did a six-week right? workshop. Front I know y'all sorry y'all brought me because I actually got shit to say. So, <laughs> <laughs> so we did a six-week workshop. We showed it twice. It's in the hands of the investors. We <laughs> expect to take it to Broadway. But the book, uh, funny thing happened on the way to the White House. You can go to my webpage, which is the real Michael Kelly. Mm -hmm. You can uh, email me at uh, comicking123 at AOL.com, or you can Facebook me at Michael Collier, C-O-L-Y-A-R. The book is off the chat. I, I'm sorry I didn't bring one in. I, I know. Didn't bring one in case. I mean, can't get a book. Trump. I should have brought it so y'all can just see it. I'm going to run out and get it and bring it back. And sign it and give it to me. Yeah, give me $10. I'll sign it and give it to you. The DVD has 40 of the top comedians in the country. And they're all holding up Mr. Obama in a positive light. Weren't you at inauguration? Heck yeah, I was at inauguration. I saw you at inauguration. Selling. I be selling. You were. I was selling you, like they were crap. You were at inauguration. That's right, baby. <laughs> I was at inauguration. Yes, That's you right. were. That's right. I'm not playing with y'all. Okay, okay. And I love this president. We need to support him. I have yeah. created, in my mind, a coalition called the CUCBPO. That's Comics United to Combat the Bashing of President Obama. <laughs> so, I, so, I, so I got all the comedians coming together to do positive okay. comedy. <laughs> about Mr. Obama on the documentary of Tommy Davidson, uh, uh, um, Cedric the Entertainer, Anthony Anderson, uh, the wonderful Dick Gregory, we have white, know, black, know, young, know. old, gay, straight, transgender, Asian, and Hispanic comedians hold Mr. Obama up in a positive light. <laughs> Music by Bootsy Collins and Corrupt. The shit Ooh, is all. Y'all need that. Y'all need to call my page, Michael Kaya, C-O-L-Y-A-R. You can get the app or you can go to Facebook. I return every Facebook personally. I ain't got no Secretary can't afford one. Okay, so we're doing those items. Uh, the, we're doing the, the, the Broadway show. Uh, I do my radio show every Monday, three o'clock to four thirty. The Michael Kai Morning Show. I get up late. Make sure you tune into that. And I'm hireable. Now let me just explain. Some of y'all probably saying, "Well, this is too much." Why is he selling himself on that? Because we're going through something right now. Mm. And I'm gonna share this with y'all. We don't have a swimming pool at my house. <laughs> Everybody else got pool. We need a pool. Now last year, you got yes, last year we made enough money to hold to dig the hole in the backyard. This year, <laughs> I'm just trying to get cement money. Okay, so I want you to know the weekend party. I do all kind of parties. I do weddings, divorces, Passover, hangover. Wow. I do a party in the phone booth if you promise to call. Okay, I take Green Sam Food Temple name money, EBT, bus transfer <laughs> if you got some time left on it. Please go to Michael <laughs> Kaya, C O L Y A R, inbox me. I'm coming to your house. And I want to go to every black historical university and bring my, my, my piece my on the president is off the chain. Oh, I love this president. I wrote a letter to him, sent him three books, and then I wrote the same letter and wrote a new letter to Oprah, sent it to Oprah and said, Can I come on your show and read the letter to the president? In a minute, I'm gonna get a call from one. Make a call from one. Man, the one on hold. So I talk to the from the universe. Yeah, I get help from the universe. Michael also bootlegs his own city. I do bootleg my own city, and it's fabulous. That's right. I make my own house. What you need? What you need? We got a crowd on standby for you. Crowd on standby. Let them on in. We get them out. We away? No. It's happy hour, everybody. It's happy hour. They pushing everybody to the back. Miss Atlanta, I keep seeing your beautiful lips move, but I can't hear you. What you say, baby? It's like want, 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 want. I have a question. So, oh, uh, <laughs> so fine. Go on, take your time, girl. 
I need you with, to with all here. the successes that you've had and have and that are, are coming your future um, endeavors that you're doing what would you what kind of advice would you give to up and coming comedians now like 88 like when you started in 86 is different than 2014 now so for up and coming comedians trying to get into the business trying to do half of even a portion of what it is that you are able to do now what kind of advice would you give to them because is the format the same I, I just think you do your work do what y'all doing man the joke what y'all doing y'all coming in y'all going out what y'all doing man oh okay I, I my my thing is I would say just do your work I would say that to any upcoming artist, no matter what it is, whether it's comedy, uh, rap, acting, whatever it is, uh, the magic is always in the work and the details. Just do the work. I have a philosophy called the 15-minute philosophy. If you do 15 minutes a day, five days a week on whatever you want to do, you'll be there within two months. And you take Saturday and Sunday off. Just Monday through Friday. 15 minutes a day. So if you want to be you want to be doing comedy, study comedy for 15 minutes a day. You can get on the internet and study some of the masters. <clears throat> Don't steal people's jokes, although I do. Um, <laughs> I, yeah, if you did, I'm using your shit. I'm telling you right now, you can use it. So I'm using Red Fox. He did. I use Red Fox jokes all the time. I'm giving a damn. I'm not throwing those jokes away. We got to keep jokes alive. So you want to study artists uh, who, are, who have been successful and see what makes I look. I woke up in bed with Kevin Hart the other night, not the actual Kevin Hart, but with two magazines on Kevin Hart. <laughs> called them studying YouTube to be successful so that I could do some of those things to be successful. I study Richard Pryor. I study everybody who's doing something successful, and I try to figure out what things they did that I could use that works for me without biting off their own uh, individual stuff, stuff that's personally theirs. I don't want right. to steal, you know, but I want to take things that work for me and fashion them into my own thing. So 15 minutes a day, do the work. Comics are always telling me they want to do comedy shit. It's 50 places in this town to do comedy. But don't start at comedy clubs. Start out at uh like cabarets. It's all it's all kind of bars and stuff that have open mic. <clears throat> Go to those kind of open mics, not the comedy open mic. In comedy open mic, you competing with every comedian in the room. But if you go to other open mic, you gonna have one person doing a piano recital, somebody doing a poem, some bitch playing two, and then, then you gonna be the only comedian. And people right. gonna be ready for that break in laughter, yeah. so you gonna get their focus. You keep doing that with five minutes of material. And I say five of the funniest minutes that you have, but tape it. Every phone device has a tape recorder. Tape your set. Then when you go back home, you play it back and listen to it. You don't listen to what you succeed at. You listen to what people laughed at and what they did. Everything they laughed at, you keep. Everything they didn't laugh at, don't ever say that shit no more. Now, let's say you go in and they laugh for three minutes. When you go out the next time you start with those three minutes they laugh that and you add two new ones and you keep that process going time after time till you get five solid funny minutes then you do the open mics at the comedy clubs and that's how you just build your set that would be my advice so how important is it for comedians to write do they well it's supposed to be real important but i don't write that much shit but i think <laughs> i think it's very important i think i think you need to be you need to be current you know, you need to read the papers every day. You need to watch the news, uh, um, although I, I call CNN a constantly negative news network. But uh, I think you still need to know what's going on. You need to know, you know, you need to know where your president is and what he's doing. All you guys know that he came out last week and said he smoked weed. We all know this. See, are, you we, know this? are we surprised? You didn't know that. But but are, are we we well, we're not surprised that he smoked it, but we have to be surprised that he said it. You know what I'm saying? Just like he came out and said that he supports people's choices of, of what they're doing sexually. No president ever stood up for gay rights. Ever said it. You can talk all the shit you want for the public. But to come into the camera and say, look, I stand for these rights, that's big shit. It he, is big. But, you know, again, then again, you know, it's not like he can get elected again. So that's why he's going so hard in these last few years because, you know, he wouldn't have said that in the first term. Which is why he didn't, that he didn't say, say it in the first term. Intelligent as well. Okay. <laughs> I get your point. I get your point exactly. Uh, Y'all know that he asked for two hundred million dollars for uh, to help young black kids yes. have something to black do after. See that stuff you know when you're watching your news. So now you put that in your act. You know mm -hmm. you put in your act that 
like she said, that he's doing it now because shit, he ain't going to win no more, so fuck it. Go out with you a make that fun. Yeah. You make that the joke, you know what I'm saying? You know, you want to know what his wife is doing, you know it? No first lady ever grew collard greens at the White House. Okay. No, no <laughs> first lady ever went on a show like Ellen and did push-ups. You and, know, and did the dancing she went down the hall. And, to, and hugged the queen. You ain't supposed to touch the queen. Mm -hmm. you know? So when you know these things, when you're informed, then you have better comedy and, and people are right there with you and they're informed and they with and they follow you, you know. Yeah. Me though, I do mostly jokes. I like jokes, you know, so I'll do current stuff, but then I stick jokes in there because people have abandoned the ideal of jokes and jokes are some good shit. Yeah. Jokes are fabulous, you know. So <laughs> that's I guess that's the advice I would give. <laughs> answer your answer? question, answer. Absolutely solid. <laughs> you are a fan of frog's hair. You ever, see, you ever see frog hair? You can't see it. It's too damn fast. Okay. I like the big hair. I like the little hair. I like the big hair. I'm coming in and out. I'm in and out. Now, Roscoe, Roscoe! Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> Roscoe's out of control. Roscoe's got a ride, Angie. Yes, oh, indeed. my God. <laughs> There's a little powder puff thing. It's all floss. His cough is hard for you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> She's looking like, oh, Lord. His cough turned into wood. Did you get a chance to get in and say anything? That's quite all right. I brought That's you in. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just want to say, though, Michael talks about, you know, I don't write that many jokes. This is the hardest working man. I met oh. Michael when I went on to when he was having his uh, Monday night comedy extravaganza at Maverick's Flats, and I was oh, wow. fortunate enough to be one of the motherfuckers we don't know nothing about yet. That's, <laughs> that was the open, open mic portion of his show, and Michael has just taken me under his wing, and he has worked me to death. <laughs> but but he, with it. he knows he knows what he has to do. The pulling man it out of you. Pulling it out of you. He's he's up at three or four o'clock in the morning. I don't see Is that why he get up late? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, but then he's up at seven o'clock in the morning. You know, he has yeah. really taught me that there is a whole I lot of work in money. this being funny business. I just don't have my money. That's the only thing. You know, you know. also didn't tell about <coughs> uh, Miss Innocent Goes to Cool School. Oh, oh. That's, that's the other two books. It comes too much me, you know? <laughs> do, you, do you write or record your voice to write to produce all of this? Um, I don't understand that question at all. She said you got two more projects. Do you write oh, yeah. or record? Like, more than you know how well, I my cell phone? I have this voice recorder. No, that I, I write them. I want to learn to do that more. I'm not disciplined enough to do that, but I want to do that more. You know. So what is Miss School Go School? You want to So what? What we doing? We we were talking about the new prop. <laughs> <laughs> Angie, Angie, okay. Angie, and Lana. I, I don't know. Angie and Lana. I don't even know what happened. Angie and Lana. Look at you, Angela, and whoever's on the hangout. You tuning into Michael Guy. You're right here on Lipstick Dash Radio. High five. 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 High a funny thing happened on the way to the White House, which is fabulous. I'll come back and show that to y'all before I leave. So when other people are talking, I'll run to the car, get a copy, come back and show it. We have Miss Innocent Gold to Cool School and other silly stuff. That's a poetry book for adult children, uh, which will also turn into a cartoon series for Saturday afternoon. And then we're doing a, my autobiographical book, which is called Michael Goes Motivational, which tells my story and I'm going wherever I'm going, if I'm going anywhere. But I just want to say, people say I've never changed. After all these years in the business, I'm still the same. And I just want to tell y'all, I ain't got my money yet. Okay, when I get my money, I'm going to talk to you. <laughs> no, I'm not. I need some brand new friends. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I okay. Wanna, what wanna... did he do? He came in here. What did he do? What did he want? Oh, I guess we was laughing so loud, it kicked him off the, the streaming. No, just kidding. Oh, I don't yeah. know. It's technical <laughs> difficulties ain't got shit to do with me. So that's I really don't know who in the blowfish. That's what I'm saying. So now he's going to come in and fuck our shit up. Fuck our like, shit up. Our shit working. He's like, I don't that's know. That's right. It's working. We want to break that. We should slide and buzz and shit. Get out of here with that shit. We live online. You know what I do want to, what I want to ask? Is yeah. that is, does, everybody's been laughing, but does anyone in the room have a question? But well, we're getting ready to wrap it up with Michael because yeah. I know he's got to go. And then we're oh, in it in and in. 
Oh, no, I'm still okay right now, but go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> you know, I, just, I just like the fact that you mentioned about, like, working hard, you got to work. <clears throat> it's the same thing you do when you're, you know, following dreams as far as being a rapper. I do the same thing. If you can dedicate at least one hour of your day towards your passion, towards your craft, every wow. single day, it will happen. So yeah. I do an hour. I do <laughs> hours, like, you know, just, you know, a lot. I'm, again. So, I'm doing two music you know, videos right now. Right. So if you can, yeah. you know, 15 minutes, work it up to an hour, it's 15 rough. to 30 to 45 to an hour, you know, the more time you spend every day consistently, it'll happen at some point. That's so nice. I resonate I, with that. What kind of rap do you do? Hmm? What kind of rap? What kind of stuff do you do? Um, all kind of rap, just hip hop artists, basically. I'm from Oakland, so you know I do. So do you have I do real fame rap. or anything that you talk about? Um, you know, Swanky is my um, Swank. With my attitude, <laughs> that's my that's my brand. Swanky, you know, you Swank. you Swanky, you know shit. Swanky. Okay. Swanky is the updated Swank. swag. Swank, swank is like super old, right? Like, like we, we don't do swag, old. we do Swanky. Oh. All right, come on. Yeah. 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 Come on, internet. Yeah, I spit a verse so he can know what swanky is. You want to spit a verse? Go on, spit it, Tim. I spit it swanky. My name is NNS. In case we get a red jacket or a lidded vest. We're from the Oak Town, Oakland. That's what you call it. I live in San Diego, but I'm not an alcoholic. I really like to drink because I like happy hour. It's all good. I'm in this interview. I'm a devourer. Do it. Do it. Make it sour. Make it sweet. Nigga, you never shite. You know what I'm saying? Up in the streets. No, oh, man. That's what it's like. Yeah. Nice. You look like you sleep. I got a camera. Wake up. Wake up. So you'll be here in two hours. I'm going to rap. We're doing one for, um, we're trying to uh, raise awareness about the murders of black on black crimes in Chicago. Yeah. So I'm doing one called Everybody Won't Be Black Except Black People. Enough awareness to raise funds, <laughs> we create foundations so the young black men have something to do. That's why I was real happy when mm -hmm. my president came out and said, You know, we need to come up with this money. Mm -hmm. And then I'm doing another one, I already did the music for that we're about to shoot called this video ain't about shit. And it's uh, a video that illustrates that we're talking to all these people, we have all these young men's minds. And we ain't saying shit. We talking right. about how big our titties are, right. how many right. fucking diamonds we got, and how many cars and shit. With all the people we reach and we should be teaching. So you'll be hearing those and shit. You know, but I don't have no to it. no swanky flat. I'm still working on my swanky. <laughs> 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 my swanky. Don't 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 you got a swank package? Hey, we need to hold this up, please. Yeah. Where's it at? Can you get a close up on that? Champion. It's called what? Champion. Champion. How many on here? Like five, six, seven, eight cuts? It's my new EP. There you go. That's for you to put in a ride when you ride. I'm going to be banging this when I roll up out of here. That's what I'm saying. I'm going to get swanky and swaggy all at the same time. Well, let me tell you, he is, you know, we're in our first annual 2014 Indie Awards, and he is one of the nominees. Yeah. So that's why he happy. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. That's hard work. So over here on this corner, um, you you rap too, right? Yeah, yeah, I spit. Spit some. Come on here. Come on here. Bobby O. Oh, you got you. Mine's 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 X rated though. Oh, does that mean it's just dirty? Okay, see, it's dirty. It's dirty. I'm a, it's dirty. Like how dirty? Okay. Like, I'm 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 ratchet. You're not gonna say bad Bobby stuff about black, okay. black women. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to give you a copy of the no show bitch, we just no did because we talked about people like you. I'm going to tell you like, I'm gonna tell you like this. From somebody that's been in the industry since I was 16 years old, but been in the music since I was in second grade. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tell you, I love lyricists. I love rap, but I, you need to tell a story. It's cool to be ratchet, but if you can't come up here and spit something, no matter what genre we cool ask you. Ratchet. No, no. Well, I mean, <laughs> if you're my daughter's age, then I guess it is. But all I'm saying is, if you really want to call yourself a lyricist, then you need to be able to come and spit whatever you know the situation calls for. That's what a lyricist does. No different than a singer. If you're a gospel singer, but you're trying to make it over here, then you need to be able to come over here and, and sing some Ella or some. Who's some, your favorite? Or whatever. Ratchet? My favorite. Ratchet. Little yeah. Boosie. Look at him. <laughs> 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 <He's got it. laughs> Well, I'm, I'm just saying. It's the same thing with comedians. Yes. 
They're if all you know is booty, titty, all that stuff, <laughs> and comedy, then, if then you block yourself. Is the joke, or if the you don't have a joke. Is always, how do you feel about but, that? But my it's point is, it's like if that's always, all you know, you're always in that box, that's and you'll exactly never right. be able to go anywhere mm-hmm. else. Exactly. And you want to prove them different. You want to let them know mm-hmm. you educated. You want to let them know that, yeah, you want me to be ratchet, I can be ratchet. Oh, you want me to be educated, I'm be educated. Neither you want me to be ratchet? Ratchet is really nice sometimes. Ratchet's hot sometimes. What you say, Angie? What? 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 Huh? What? What you say? Hey, 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 See. Four different races, See. four carrots in my ear, four carrots in my bracelet. That's four hundred thousand. I can buy four houses. My whip right there. That's four hundred horses. Nine eleven, no emergency. I'm riding in my Porsche. When she with you, she's your wife. When she with me, she's my whore. After we fuck, I make her do chores. We never spend mine. We all spend yours. I need a jeweler as my dentist. I got a lack on sixes. Got a maid and a mistress, a stripper and a rich bitch. I thought it was going to be much worse. Uh, yeah. yeah, I thought it was, I was much worse. I was rolling with the rhythm. Cat, man, rhythm. The rhythm yeah. was cool. Yeah. And I liked his little, his little sound. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, you did. And for the record, okay, for you rappers, I know y'all can't see me, but y'all know how I roll. I tell it straight like it is. I don't give a hoot. Like go fish. Bottom line is this. She's you know, when, when these guys be... You know, rapping about. So I know that it's personal experience because Lord knows if I really got on the mic and rapped about my personal fucking experience. You going to jail? <laughs> <laughs> be some shit. <laughs> That'd be some real shit. So all I'm saying yeah. is, when y'all rapping about stuff because oh this bitch did this, you know you selected her. True. That's all I'm saying. And then you know sometimes we all don't go. I'm, I'm gonna get philosophical. Y'all don't go within. Yeah. So then, therefore, you think the situation gonna will be in. different, but it's just a different coochie with the, di- with the same situation because you ain't addressed it inside because that's why you keep attracting that same coochie. Yeah, I'm just, you know, you. dropping some 46-year-old no, knowledge on that. You are what you attract. As simple as that. Law of attraction ain't no Ratchets joke. attract ratchets. So the bitches <laughs> should become in the females to, to women or, you know, that that I love the bitches got to go. Right, right. I love Lupe just came on. Lupe Lupe is called, uh, someone just came on and bitch said, bad. "Bitch bad." Oh, he said. Oh, he said on oh yeah, yeah, this guy was interviewing me. He said broad. I'm like, excuse me. Right. Yeah. yeah, you know, I'm hanging so out with you, bro. Well, you are what you put out. No, because I don't listen to that. I I talked about. You don't know what that is. Hold it, hold it. She gonna just say she don't listen to that. She don't fuck that is. No, I don't know what the fuck that is. Bitch bad? What, 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 what? I know bad. I'm bad, Lupe and I can be a bitch, but I'm but just saying. Bitch what? bad is negative, is what Lupe it's Fiasco right, is saying. Right. Bitch bad is, is teaching, what Lupe Fiasco is teaching in his, in his song is that young girls are hearing all these raps and seeing these girls with titties all out and yeah. shit, and, he, and they think that these, this is the way they're supposed to be. They don't realize yeah. these girls are actresses trying to be in these music videos. So he's explaining to a little girl that bitch is bad. That yeah. woman is good. That lady is better. That's what bitch bad's about. Well, and I already, actually, actually, bitch is is yeah. like bitch well, I already knew all of that because, like I said, I've been in this game for it since yeah. I was 16. I came in as a professional dancer. So I've done it with Hammer. Are you call that do? No, I said dance. Oh, okay. Not okay. professional <laughs> fucker. Not <laughs> professional <laughs> dancer. Okay. <laughs> not not a professional fucker. I'm not that. No, but but back in the day when I was doing videos, when you had to have talent to be in them. Uh huh. Okay. I re- I remember the day. Matter of fact, Angie actually and Angie I. Angie used to do pole we dance. <laughs> What? 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 He said you used to pole dance too. I did not. Oh, no, no, no. I've taken pole dance classes, but I've never pole danced. Oh. <laughs> no, but I remember that because I remember the last video audition I went to. And we stood at the table. You know, they got you checking in. And then he handed me this little ball of stuff. And I was like, well, what is this? You opened it up. It was a bikini just made of strings. That's all. Uh-huh. I was like, honey, I don't do soft porn. I'm sorry. 
He's like, well, you know, the other girls behind me, I do that. I see, see. You got some tig old They do that. You got some tig old titties. I can see them wrapped up in some white string. And you know what? And I do that for the one that I may make Come on, privilege. Pimp. Give me some love Your on privilege. that. Yes, ma'am. You know what the tattoos are. Your privilege. You know what a whole lot of things are. Russell, kick this for the ass. But your ass ain't privilege. That's right. That's right. My imagination already went there. Okay. I'm thinking about yarn. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I want to find out more about what you got going to Denise, these shows. Talk to like, us. Yeah, let us know. Well, there, there's the, the show on the 16th, and then um, also I'm part of um, a comedy troupe called Fried Rice Comedy. <laughs> <laughs> it started out. Is it all a, black or Asian? Asian? No, no, no. It's black and huh? Yeah, all kinds of it's stuff. Black it's black and ease. What the name <laughs> came about because the first show we did was at like this. Uh, Bar restaurant or how, how do you say it? Full. Oh. The, yeah, full restaurant. Oh, and so they just called it Fried Rice Comedy. So it became the <laughs> Fried Rice Comedy Troupe. But we're actually doing a fundraiser at um, Akiba Temple in Culver City. We're oh. fundraising for the temple and for Shoes for oh, the Homeless. So do you focus on clean comedy or um, not necessarily? No, no. Charity, no. Charity, let you know. It's I know a minute ago. said the word. <laughs> it's pretty clean. It's pretty clean, of course. Clean enough. I, I, I clean do enough. Let, let a few things fly every now and then. <laughs> and it depends on the audience, too. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, there, you there are different places audience. where you, you, you do different things. And it was so funny. <clears throat> I remember one day, because I do happen to be a little older, and I was at a comedy club and happened to be sitting up front. And I just threw this one guy totally off because he was standing up there and he said, Pussy, he said, is it all right to say that? I said, certainly, honey, I happen to have one. So <laughs> <laughs> been around for a long time. <laughs> I mastered exactly. in it. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So and it, it, I'm I'm just having a good time. I'm in my third. And hey, Michael, real important. Michael got phone all, calls on all air. Phones off while we doing the show. Damn. <laughs> I want to hear your song on your ringtone. Hello. Oh, wait, and this is the <laughs> wait, this the meal collector. My phone keep calling me, but when I answer, it hang up. Hey, motherfucker, <laughs> up. hold up. We got your money. We got your money. Hello? <laughs> they hang up every time. <laughs> no, I got this bill collector. And we already paid the bill. But we got this bill collector. So what they do, they got nine different numbers. And they keep oh, calling yeah. you on the different numbers because they know you bust them. Every time I figure out what number it is, I put bill collector. So when they call, I see it's them motherfuckers, right? So they know you playing the game, right? So what they do is they call from different numbers, and they don't want you to, to talk to them. They just want you to answer the phone. Mm -hmm. Now they got a record that you answer the phone. Oh, yeah. So when they try to bring a judgment against you, they can say, we called 1,400 times. He answered and hung up on us. But we don't even hang up on them. They hang up on us. I told them we got the That's money. why the key is Mr. Number, if you have an Android. It's going to be your best friend. Mr. Number. Mr. What? Number or email. I love what email. Um, it... it, it um, it registers by caller ID, okay. so there's so many different things. So like ex, certain ex people, I don't want to talk to. It'll uh -huh. say do 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 the number you reach, and then the other one will straight say, you know what? You've been trying to call and call and call. Obviously, they're not answering your phone, so they must not want to talk to you. So they stop calling. <laughs> How do I get that? <laughs> Email y o u mail dot com is amazing. Email dot com. I'll be having that shit tomorrow. It is funny. I, I even got one. I got from, people to call me. I even got one from Family they Guy. They stalkers. So when my kids call and they get my voicemail, it goes, Mom, 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 <laughs> and they crack up. So it, it's I hilarious. It's free. Like yeah, I meant you're free. It's free. Look, look how cool like to be. It's fun. You don't have to be all the time. It's fabulous. You know? Well, Michael, I want to tell you thank you so much for coming by. Really? Yeah. Okay, yes, all right, thank you. Well, you know, I'll keep you with you know. Now, you know what we got. So, Before you go, can I add, can I really add, I love accessories and adornments. Yes. Okay, but Melina, you got to make that quick. Really quick. It's 8 o'clock. Can you tell us about this ring and this sure, bracelet? Because it's bling it. I'm sorry. Oh, that's different stuff. Um, I, I wish you could see the watch that goes with this, but I wasn't wow. trying to really shine. Uh, but, uh, but this that's why you got that ring on. I like that ring. Really. Actually, this is a bishop's ring, and people think it's that it's bling. You see the cross on the side? Mm -hmm. uh, it's still bling. It's all pivot diamonds. And, and it's uh, amethyst. No money it's an amethyst stone, which is Beautiful. my birthstone. Which is February, so I thought, damn. February man, what? He's February ninth. So oh, I, you're Aquarius, you're right? An Aquarius. Oh, yay! What you say, Mama? 
She a Aquarius? No, I am. She's Taurus. Are you Taurus? No, Gemini. I'm a Gemini. Oh, Gemini. Gemini. Oh, I like that because you be mean. Sometimes you be sweet. Sometimes you be mean. Most of the time, mean. <laughs> Look at his feet going. Look at his feet. Uh, no, actually, this is my bishop for instance, first anointed <clears throat> ring and cross set. And he gave it to me. And um, because I lost a cross. And and I lost it in the commission of helping someone. Mm -hmm. When you lose something, helping someone, God replaced it with something greater. Absolutely. So the guy gave me the cross and the ring. And when I gave it to me, I said, oh, you an Aquarius? He said, no, all bishops have purple in their robe and in their ring because the color purple is a sacred color because that's the color that was around Jesus' neck. Yeah. The robe that was around his neck when they crucified him. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, shit. My stone, <laughs> <laughs> my stone is a royal stone. Oh, shit. <laughs> Okay, all right, I'm gonna leave. Oh my god. Um, and if I can try to go out in the field, this has been a real pressure. I mean pleasure. And <laughs> we're glad you invited us here to the restaurant. It's so nice with all the tables and the people in the restaurant. Um we are uh, having our drinks and stuff. We're in the bistro. You probably can't see the people walking by. But uh no, we thank you for inviting us. I'm glad we came because y'all are so positive and fine. It's like all three of y'all are fine. It's like the fan lady show. Y'all can't come on here. Even the girls standing up fan. It's like the fan. Keep waiting. It's just all fan. This is the fan people show. Thank you for inviting us. See how excited Roscoe is. You know? So uh um, and Thank you very much. Shout, shout out to out Debbie. Debbie. That's right. Hi, Debbie, Debbie. Debbie. That's yeah. Debbie. Debbie. Yeah, she didn't do Dallas, though, right? Yeah, she, oh, okay. do, she doesn't do her thing. <laughs> she usually do with that. <laughs> she got a little Debbie, too. A little well, I mean, Debbie she got the skirt and heels. I'm just asking. Right. She, she's ready. <laughs> so we're honored to be here. And, you know, like I say, y'all know how to reach me. I'm reachable. If y'all don't know them, they can contact you. And you can give all my information. Absolutely. If they want anything. I'm, I'm going to be emailing. Shit. But next I'm time, answer shit. my email. So I don't have to call Larry because I don't be feeling like, you know, hearing. I don't Larry. want him calling me. So <laughs> I don't understand what this is about. But I thought, I thought we were clear. I did contact you. I said, I'm definitely doing the show. As soon as you contact me, the only thing I didn't do is send a headshot. But I put it on my calendar right away. <laughs> I never got an email from you. Oh, okay. No, um, him calling for no validation. If you call. No, but he won't, you know, I don't, he Oh, he said, will give you my number? Yes. Do you have it now? No. You'll have it before I leave the building. Amen. So in the future, we can just go around up here. <laughs> yes. yes. You know, because we might Direct be here. Direct mail. And Larry got might not. To do. I'm just joking. I got Stop it. Larry, I didn't say that. Did Michael actually gave me my first professional gig. <clears throat> really? Yep, in Vegas with Fitzgerald. You did the Fitzgerald with us. I did the uh, oh, Steve that. Irwin joke, and you told me it was genius, and you gave me something to eat. And Marlon Baker and uh, Mike Pete walked up and said, oh, you made it. He gave you something to eat. Oh, that was my yeah. first yeah. person to do it. My bitch, you the funny my What's your name? Diaz Mackie. Hell yeah, you funny. I remember you. Mm -hmm. I remember that name, you know? Damn, you got a funny guy on your show for real. <laughs> I'm over here fucking sleeping on that. It's, it's good to see you. <clears throat> I'm going to do a new gig with Mike P in Vegas uh, in two weeks. Oh, okay, yeah. He's got the gig yesterday, but the money ain't here yet. So, <laughs> okay. Okay. So the you're not going to hold the show. Your show. That's okay. That's all right. It's cool. I ain't going to hold. I get to keep that? That's yours. I'm going to play that in the car. Yeah. And then I'm going to pop my head back Thank in you. so I can come and show my book. Yes, Thank please. So, you people who watch the show, keep watching. So, we got Ann and Nancy. I got some books to change places with you. Yeah, y'all can change places. It's y'all turn. Happy hour. Excited. I like you, little ratchet dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Huh? I'm sorry when you go outside. I gotta see you guys see you come into a ratchet CD? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, everybody. See y'all later. Bye. Bye. Angela, I hate to leave you. Oh, she's so fine. <laughs> okay, gotta go. Gotta go. All right, I'm sorry, see my crotch is in the camera now. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, Angie. All right. We're trading places. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I'll be right back with you. We're trading places. Trading places like Eddie Murphy. Who's doing what? Trading places like Eddie Murphy. New Year. Yeah. She can know you feel somewhere. Yeah, you can. What's going on? Yeah. I know last time. Yeah, but it was green. Oh, yeah. Now y'all can sit down. Y'all have some seats. Oh, we'll order. You can bring it back. All right. I know we got a little dead air, y'all, but we we going. We ain't done yet. We going. We still turned up. We going. We still going. You know.
We still happening, so we still on air, y'all. We making a transition, y'all. Happy happy hour. Lipstick Dash Radio dot com. Follow us on Twitter at Lipstick Radio. Angela Artist, you in the building? I am here. <coughs> woo woo! I am still here. Why you sit over there next to me? Oh my gosh! <coughs> you my wine is all gone, but I'm still here. Your wine is. I know. Girl, Look, my mama Mosa is gone. It's empty. You know, I got a good look. Yeah. Yeah. Right I'm going like to call you back. All right, y'all. So what we got now, we just had the wonderful, the fabulous Michael Collier. Right. How'd you guys like him? That was great, oh, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. That was hilarious, right? So now, you know, we got my boy, like I said, you know, he's been in Lipstick Radio's rotation for a year. Right. Right. And, you know, he's one of our nominees for the Indie Awards. Yes, yes, yes. And, you know, we're so happy to have him. He lives all the way out in San Diego. You live in San Diego or I'm Oakland? I live in San Diego, but I'm from Oakland. But you're from Oakland. So she's an Oaktown girl. Bay area! I mean, his the Raider hat. Let's get it. I ain't you know, you know, you're not with the Raiders. So, I mean, I can't go to Oakland. That's, oh, see, that's where we go. Oh, I'm a <laughs> <laughs> She said Eagles. All but right, I'm from, so I'm, I'm right there from yeah, the Yeah, tell her to say that's anything with a J, you'll crack up. Anything with a J. Tell her to say jump. Jump. Say jump, Melina. Jimmy. No, I ain't freaking with her. Jimmy. No, say jump. Jimmy. No, say jump. No. Say jump. No. Come on, Lynn. No. We had the little mouse Jaguar. boy back. No. Oh, so J's don't sound like J's. She goes jump. <laughs> jump. Say Jaguar. Jaguar. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. It sounds like Esquire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like it. I like it. I like yeah. it. I like it. I like yeah. it. It's all good. I'm feeling it. So anyway, we're here with NNS, and, you know, we're trying to get a little bit of more info about him. Uh -oh. You know, how did he get started? How did, you know, what made you even be attracted to music, first of all? Do you play any instruments? Were you emulating anybody when you was young? Like, give like us the backstory. Like, Y'all want the like, background? You know, but by the way, I yeah. saw the video. I, li I like the boxing thing. <laughs> he was like, oh, oh. You know, you know, I belong to I'm boxing gym. I'm going to tap out. Tap out. I was in there trying to look at what gym he was in. Because I was like, hey, that look like the gym I used to go to. Oh, wonderful. Nice, nice piece, though. So give us a little bit about you. Absolutely. That's what I was going for. I'm actually picked up. Yeah. So tell us. Tell us. How did you start? Background. Um, my mom got me into music at a young age. Is she a singer? Uh, ever since. No, not at all. But um, I was seven years old, started playing trumpet. And, See? Um, you know, they Love wanted it. me to go to school, go to college. I did all that. But by the time I was in my last year of college, I realized that I didn't want to just get a job. I wanted to actually do what I love. Mm -hmm. So I've, I've always freestyled, but I never really looked at making it a career until when I graduated college, I was like, I just don't want to just uh, be a regular person and get a job and <clears throat> do what I love. So I started rapping and taking it serious. Mm -hmm. And I've been going hard ever since. So it really just came from frustration and just not wanting to work for the man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest. Wanting to be love. your, wanted to um, pursue your passion. Yeah. Cause because to I me, when you pursue happen. your, yeah, yeah, when you pursue your passion, I think I always feel like money can, will follow. Of course, we have to have a, a strategic plan to make that happen. Right. Eat some top ramen for a little bit, maybe. You know, I did it last night. And, you know, <laughs> I was saying, right, because I'm not willing to settle. And I can totally relate to that because I stopped working in corporate in 2006. And, you know, I had little things here and there. And the more I was taking those little temp jobs, the more I was like, you know, you get this attitude, right? Because <laughs> you're like, you know, well, first of all, my kids were grown then, so it's like, you know, when I was in working in um, corporate before, I had to be there. I hated being there, but I had to because I had to feed the kids, right? Right, right? But then now I got this attitude because they ain't at home. So then you go into these jobs, and you're like, who are you talking to? I ain't got to be here. Did you, you think I got to be here? I ain't got to be here. I can leave anything I want to. I ain't got to be here. you know your work. And, yeah, yeah, you do. Yeah. And But the more you experience that, that uh, independence, the more you just feel like, you know what, I can't go back. And like right now, you know, it's like, yeah, I can use some of that corporate change, but I can't do it. I yeah. can't do it. Yeah. So I feel you. So I think everybody I, should follow their passion. That's how I was birthed. That was like, okay, I'm good at this. I know for a fact. So let me just pursue this and make it happen, period. Most but see, I love this I because like this, this is stereotypes right here, right? <laughs> Somebody would look at him and assume, especially if oh. he said, oh, I'm a rapper. 
yeah, that yeah. he has no education, let alone a degree, right? Mm -hmm. That's the stereotype. But this man is sitting here educated. And I'm a grad student, skilled. so I'm in school. What school? Undergrad and grad. San Diego State, was uh -huh. undergrad. I go to Astro University for my grad. So See, like, there before you I go. came here, I was doing work. <laughs> right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm and I love I'm that. Okay, I'm going to take y'all back for those of you who are somewhere near my age bracket. Who remembers Schoolhouse Rock? I do. Okay. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Schoolhouse Rock. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I you remember your age bracket. Right? I know. This is what I remember during the time when Schoolhouse Rock was out, right? <laughs> now, they did highlight athletes, but you know what the athletes were doing? Between Schoolhouse Rock, they would come on like you. I remember Magic Johnson. I remember a whole lot of them. And it was like, yeah, I'm Magic Johnson. And they were like trying to promote the kids to stay in school. But on the side of them, like, you know, the little thirds, mm -hmm. it would say their name, who they played for, the college they went to, and the degree they had. Right. So they were promoting education yeah. during that time. Mm -hmm. Like, yes, I'm an athlete, but I'm educated. Right. Yes, I'm an athlete, but I'm educated. Yeah. I'm a football player. I'm educated. Yeah. Now it's just not like that. That shit went off the air. I don't know how long ago. And and school rock, school else rock right, helped me. Yeah. <laughs> Even sometimes I was sitting yeah. trying to write something. Right. I'm like conjunction, junction. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <That function. laughs> yeah. So that's what I miss. And because so many people think that youngsters think that they're gonna make it to NBA. You know, there's so many talented ball players, but they think they're gonna be the one. So they don't bother going to school. Well, I can just be in the NBA like Kobe did, like so and so did, you know. And and that's just the wrong message to send. So I love it when I have young men come in here and they be like, Nah, I got. I'm in graduate program, honey. I got. I'm working on my. Like, I'm working on my PhD. What you talking about? Believe that. I mean, this is this. I'm an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. So I'm not in school because I'm trying to be in school to make it. I'm in school to learn about more about my business. Right. So absolutely. You know, is that your I know study? That school isn't. Is that yet, your major? Yet, entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship. So mm -hmm. absolutely. You know, school isn't it the end all be all because it's about mm -hmm. what you learn. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's not about the curriculum because if that was it, then I wouldn't even be here. It's right. More about my experience. <laughs> I was in school. So you're an indie artist. And you're nominated for an Indie Award up on uh, Lipstick Radio. Indie Music Awards coming up. Voting started today, by the way. Okay. Voting started today for Lipstick Radio Indie Awards. And <clears throat> real quick, real real quick from our last guest, we want to show y'all something real quick. We're going to come back to this indie artist okay. right here, NNS. First, I want to show you NNS tape right there. That's the thing he's doing <laughs> right now. He getting his paper right there. I'm going to play is that the right one? Yes. Yeah, I'm going to play that in my car right there. He did that <laughs> thing. We saw him rap earlier. Then, this is the book we were talking about. Funny thing happened on the way to the White House. I knocked on the door and a brother answered. Y'all need that. Y'all need that. Y'all need to support our president. If you're so kind, let me jump in. You are too. Thank you. Let me squeeze you one more time with your hands. Don't be jealous, Atlanta. Don't be, don't be jealous, Atlanta. I still love you, baby. Thank y'all. Thank you so much. You can call me anytime. Sorry. So we, where we left off at is we were checking, we were actually giving NNS really major props and big ups on his nomination on Lipstick um, Radio. This is the first annual yeah. Indie Music Awards. Um, Angela, actually, y'all are watching our a r rep in Atlanta. She actually reviews all the music nice. for all that all artists submit online. And this is really a movement that is blowing up it's been here but we say we pay special attention to indie artists like nns mm -hmm. and that's why we have you in here today also yeah. to today is the first day where voting goes up and is out there now so you can vote for for him and other artists in different categories but back to you as far as the indie movement i want to go back to to school mm -hmm. with you real mm -hmm. quick sure. yeah, and how is how is your program road. And this is for y'all. This is for mm -hmm. the indie artists out there joining mm -hmm. us for happy hour. How is your program, as far as school, mm -hmm. your um, program of choice, your major of choice, mm -hmm. helping you? Because you're a businessman, and mm -hmm. it sounds like you're treating it as a mm -hmm. business. Yeah, yeah, you're not just treating yeah. it as school and credit. Yeah, there's several independent artists out there, and it depends on how you look at it. This is more of a business. Yes, I love to rap. I love what I do. But at the end of the day, I'm going to make money. 
I'm going to be a millionaire. I'm not doing it just, just for fun. So what school is teaching me is to look at it more as a business and, you know, I actually own my own business. I produce my own self, you know, so it's like I have my own artist, you know, it's, it's not being incorporated. So really I look at it as a, as a business and I move forward, you know, with those thoughts in mind. So okay, everything I do is, is associated with my brand and I'm keeping it And then before I throw it to Angela, being from the Bay, I just got to go there real quick, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> okay. yeah. 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 All right. Being the village from the Bay, we got some traffic. And we going to have traffic. We got traffic. We like traffic. Yeah. 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 Yo, can I keep this one? Yeah, right. 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 Yeah, so, All right, so we got a full house again. So for you guys, I apologize for the guys that just came in. We're supposed to have happy hour out there, but, you know, they pissed me off, but I'm professional, Logistics. so I'm going to make it work. So uh, no, one monkey don't stop, no show. That's right. It's all right. Showtime synergy. But we still got it good. And for y'all don't know, let me see. We were we were on air earlier. I'm going to show Charmaine. What's up? That's Charmaine. She did that wonderful, wonderful documentary that we used the entire show to talk about. Oh, yes, ma'am. Oh, <laughs> Damn. Yeah. All right, we're going to get you. All right. So, back to NNS with his educated ass. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we were, we were chopping it up where we left off at. Um, Y'all came in, we were talking about NNS being one of the artists featured on Lipstick Dash Radio because right, he's right. nominated for an Indie Award. On lipstick radio. So where I was going because he from the bay, the bay. right? West from West the bay. West shout out. Right. Oh, oh, West Oakland. West okay, I'm having them. That's, that, 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 that's, that's happening. Yeah. We yeah. neighbors, son. Really, we really, neighbors. Really, that's how you feel. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's how it is. I don't think that. That's how it is. That's the reality. Yes, of that's the reality. That's the so check it. Automatic fan. We fam. So what we going to talk about? So quick. On, on, on the house. On, on camera. On house, yeah. I'm going to review this though. Yeah. I'm going to have to read Of course. Okay, cool. yeah. So what in the world do you think, because Oakland is known for mm -hmm. like independent artists just right. getting it right. from right. all genres of music, all genres yeah. of music. And I was watching this, I'm not going to tell y'all where I went to, but I was watching this ratchet clip uh -huh. and then educated <laughs> ratchet clip. You ever seen educated ratchet clip? That means the street, you teach the streets. That means okay. a clip that teaches the streets. Okay. But. Well, who was in there was a cat that I know from Oakland, JT, mm -hmm. Bigger Figure. Okay. So in Atlanta, okay. yeah, right, from the Bay. And he was actually teaching brothers how to make a living off of being an artist mm -hmm. on the streets. I heard about that. Right? Mm -hmm. So it was, it was when I went past some of the other stuff that I saw, y'all, that I'm not going to talk about, I'm not going to mm -hmm. publicize it. Mm -hmm. But the message of is get your money. Mm -hmm. Don't Absolutely. let the labels get it. Yeah, Just get absolutely. your money. Right. Hashtag your money. money. <laughs> <laughs> you get your money. <laughs> She's so silly. Um, you get your money through your own independent hustle. So that could be through a job, you know. But, you know, for me, you know, it's it's several different ways. I'm not going to disclose all the ways that I get my own money, you, you know, empire, but just know empire? that it's yeah. happening and it happens when you make it happen in your mind first and then the world help you conspire that. Absolutely. And that's all I'm going to say about the getting money part. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the money has to be there before anything else can move. So what you got going on right now? We know you got the album that yeah. just came out. Now we've been spinning what, yeah, Swanky and yeah, um, yeah, and then what was the other one? It was two we yeah, were doing. Oh, no yeah. Well, Those so were the two. Yeah. yeah. That's my old joint. No, yeah. I love no that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So when NNS started with us on Lipstick right. Radio, he was in rotation. And he had those two songs in our rotation. So, and, and it was tight. And a lot of people, we got a lot of love on it. Y'all see me on Twitter. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I be yeah. blowing Twitter up. <laughs> we, we promote, 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 promote. So, and this brother over here, I want to say something about him right here. <laughs> That's one five right there. He, he helped me so much. So, he retweets my stuff. And I don't know what he got going on. But 
it's almost like he got slaves or something. He, <laughs> when, he re, when he retweets something, it, I mean, looking, I'm like, damn, 150 retweeted? Like, instantly. They love you. It's all about you. They love you. <laughs> they see your name and they just run with it. That's yeah, all I, 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 okay. Uh -huh. but, but you know what? But that's what I love and that's what Lipstick Radio is about. Because a lot of people think that Lipstick Radio is just a radio station. Mm -hmm. And it's so much more than that. It's a movement. And what we're doing behind the scenes, like, yeah, we spend everybody in our, well, we don't spend everybody. Then let's just be clear. You can submit your music. If you make it through A&R, Angie, then, <laughs> Angie left the building for a minute. But if they make it through A&R, you know, then we spin it. As, as simple as that. And, you know, I like I said, I have a music background. Angie has a music background. So I know what I'm looking for, and I know what I need to hear, and I know what the hell I'm not going to put on. And half the people that's on with, with labels, I wouldn't put on. So, you know, that's what it is, because I really want those artists that are trying hard, that they got the talent, the good arrangements, that can really spit the lyrics and stuff. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm looking for, mm -hmm. male or female. And those are the ones I'm helping to push. And so Lipstick Radio is not just spinning the music, but we do cipher out the real talented ones. But just yesterday, we're behind the scenes making phone calls. I'm always, if you guys have gone on the website and see everything that the uh, artists get, I mean, that, that, that was a lot of work trying to collaborate and network yeah. with all those people because we got four magazines involved. We got, I don't know how many websites involved. We've got four DJs across the country involved. You know, all these people coming together for that same goal of help uplifting the indie movement. And even yesterday, I can't tell too much, but yesterday I just had a meeting with, with Live Nation. Because I had I got the meet, I was lucky to meet this lady. She was with Live Nation. I told her what I did, told her about Lipstick Radio. She was so excited. We met yesterday, and let me tell you, it's about to go down because my goal is for my indie artists, I call them mine because they're like my babies. I'm, I'm, I'm older, so y'all my babies. Um, <laughs> and, you know, the goal to go with that is I'm out there pushing to get them avenues to perform and open up for Jay-Z, to open up for Beyonce, to open up for whomever. So th that's what I'm doing behind the scenes, and nobody sees that. And that and that's cool. I don't need nobody to be doing that. All I need people to do for Lipstick Radio is, and that's the only thing you have to do to be in rotation. Submit is help music, promote Lipstick submit Radio. Submit your music. Submit your music. Submit your music. Right? What's your name? Angie Crazy. What'd you say, Angela? Huh? What'd you say? I said submit your music. Submit your music. <laughs> <laughs> well, what you got to do once you submit it, you get an automatic email back. And what, all you got to do is just help promote. Yeah. So we know you can't be on there full time, but I'm saying, like, if you know we're spinning your records, I tag everybody when their record's spinning. Mm -hmm. So even if you're at work, you see it, just keep tagging out. Because the whole goal is this. I'm in a battle right now with somebody wanting me to charge artists to, you know, play their music. I, I'm against that. I'm, I'm an indie. I'm against that. I know what that's like. We can get that money from sponsors, but sponsors want to see numbers. So that's why we build our numbers with everybody's help, and we're helping each other. So that's the only thing I ask of my indies is to just help spread the word and stuff. So, you know, it's a movement, and, and that's why, you know, we're all coming here together. It's like, I can't tell you how many people I've just met on the internet. You know, like I just made him on the internet. Like Literally. Said, you tweet, you tweet right? what you know, like, and you got five, you know, hands going. That's, that's what <laughs> yeah, made me notice. That's what made me notice. I'm like, she does. She does. And oh. see, like behind yeah. the scenes, like Kimberly Carlock, Angela. <coughs> yeah, I like that. Yeah, Angela, you stand by. Behind huh? the scenes, isn't, ain't this, yeah, ain't this chick like Superwoman yeah, with, yeah, mixed yeah. with Olivia Pope and her DNA? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I can Completely. see that. It's Absolutely. amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. Somebody learned my schedule. Somebody <laughs> I don't even, moves, I don't even know what she did. That money out. Get out the house and get in the car, cut the phone on or do something. Bam, she Bam, it hits me right there. I say, Bam. okay. <laughs> Somebody didn't learn. I say, well, let's get it started. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what I'm retweeting, but I see, I see the listing. I go, I got to support. That's what happened to me. And sometimes yes. I go, you like, look at that. Thank you. <laughs> Where am I at? I gotta say about that. Okay. And, we, and we've been, wait, wait, and just wait, wait, so y'all know, we've wait, been wait, wait. spinning champion. This is champion. We've been spinning it. It's fun today. I'm sorry. It's been, wait, um, wait, it's been wait, spinning all wait. week, actually, Hello? on our new station. We Hello? just moved to a new station. Hello? So, you know, Hello? we supporting 
indie yeah. artist to the fullest. That's why I want NNS to come here in person. And, you know, he spit a little bit earlier, but now we got a new crowd in here in the wait, building. We're going to ask wait. him to do that again. Wait, wait. No, wait. NNS, what? I'm the one that approved champion. I don't even get one. I'm like, are you kidding me? You know what? <laughs> First of all, I was just in Atlanta about two weeks ago on tour. Yeah. Uh huh. What happened to the tweet? I, I, I could have. But look, look, look. I'm here I'm, right now. I got the copy right here. Look, boom, boom. I see, I see it. I see it. I see it. You know what? We're going we gonna to mail it to you. I got yours. Okay. NNSmusic.com <laughs> <laughs> has several copies. We're going to mail it to her so, she can get so you can sign it. We'll, we'll get, get you a special. physical copy. You can call and put on your I even, I even labeled it great. I was just looking at my notes. I was like, champion was great. <laughs> oh, you got to see the sexy video he did, Angie. He all working out in the gym, you know. Oh, oh. He's working out in the gym. <laughs> yeah, ain't nothing like a healthy brother. But I want to talk true. about the new album. Let's, yeah. talk, about yeah, the new Let's album. talk about that. Let's talk about I'm Champions. super excited about it. Uh, my new single was Roll With Me. I'm shooting a video out here in L.A. When? At the observatory this Saturday. Melrose yep. Observatory in Disney Concert Hall. Oh, That's why I really am out here. Location. I made it a whole, you know. Um, yes. We're so glad. I'm shooting a new video called Roll With Me. Some for the ladies. Mm -hmm. Dedicated to all the sexy ladies out there. Um, <laughs> so, that's so, in Champion, though, let's talk about Champion. Mm -hmm. What's the thought process behind Champion? Like, what, what's the message you want to... So, the reason sending? why I came up with Champion is because a Champion is a mental uh, process. Basically, I've been through a lot of things in my life. From my mom passing away, trying to be, you know trying to make it, going through failure, keep on, you know, picking myself up. So I named it Champion to show you my mental is that where I'm at. It's that my thought process is of a champion. Where your thoughts go, that's where your actions mm -hmm. follow. So I figured that, you know, if I put out there that I'm a champion, this is where I'm going, I'm going to eventually get there. So my mindset is success, and being a champion, being a winner, that everything else will follow. Because so, when I watched your video, um, the intro, yeah. I like the word that Lombardi. was, yes. Right, yeah. yes. It's a concept album. Mm -hmm. It all connects with champion and being a winner and making it and do what you got to do to achieve your goals. So this is a reflective on my mindset. So, oh, yeah. my goodness. Nice. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed it because I was like, ooh, that's some powerful words I mean, right there. Lombardi, I mean, okay. you can't go wrong. No, right? not at all. Intro from Vince Lombardi, so you know what, and real quick, um, Angie's like, who's the guy in the orange? <laughs> we talked about him earlier, but that's Diaz Mackey right there. What up, though? We got two orange cats. Okay, yeah, we, got but we say God. You, know, you have a vagina. No. 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 So he's in the orange. Right. That's what I thought. Well, I'm looking at your orange. And I'm not looking at me. I was looking at them. Okay, but he ain't wearing orange. You're wearing orange. Uh, so. Yeah, orange. Fire. So, so Diaz, Mackie, tell her, tell her who you are. She wants to know. She's inquiring. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Y
Ooh. Well, you know what to do, right? Every time you have something, tweet, tag me in your tweet. Yeah. Because you know I'm going to retweet and retweet and retweet and retweet. That's why you retweet clean. That's why you retweet clean. Yeah. That's like, because it, it, that's what Instagram, we try to support the artist. So when I see, all you guys have to do, because I can't go on everybody's website, so all you got to do is either tag me in a tweet or post it on my Facebook page because I allow posts. I allow mm -hmm. so the artist can post. Like if you got a, um, you know, a little flyer, if you just want to, you know, whatever, just share it with me. Because if I don't know about it, then I can't help you. Once my video come out, I'm putting it on your page. That's right. Retweet, retweet, damn, retweet, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. We might even feature it on our website, on the homepage. Mm. <laughs> That's nice. So, you know, and we got to because he came, you know. Yeah, this was lovely. Thank it you was. so much. Oh, you What's your website? website? I've been sending it. It's internetsmusic.com. So you can check out my whole album, listen to it, even the other albums as well, all my videos, everything's all And what's your Twitter? You know I'm a Twitter girl. What's your Twitter? N-I-W-G-Y-N-A-B-S-H-A-S-T-Y. Nick Yabshi. Nick Yabshi. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
<laughs> what it say? Uh, and the way you say, surrounded by beautiful people in the room. Can we can, can we pan? I know we're gonna pan. Hours? It's like okay, we gonna start what's over up, here. Y'all? Hey, what's up? What's up? He's like, how are you doing? Uh, He's like, don't show me. I'm on Pearl. Let's <laughs> <laughs> artists, comedians, directors, editors in the building, writers, singers, uh, songwriters, everything. There we go. Dude. Yo, yo. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so really quick before we go, we want to get to Charmaine really quick. Just it is, but I just I just gotta let them see you just for a second, just for a second, because yeah, we, we talked, talked about, about you, you so much you today. Yes, 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 we did. Right. Yes, we did. So Charmaine, come on over here for a minute. Oh, I switch. Yeah, right. we gonna switch. All right. What? Good. Good. Yeah, I'm getting ready to wrap up. Okay. So this is going to be the last little five minutes because we're not going to do too much with Charmaine because Charmaine is actually going to be on next week. So, But I had to bring her on right now because she's in the building. Beautiful spirit, beautiful woman, and talented. Oh, my goodness, talented and inspiring. I mean, I can't tell you enough. I mean, I was saying it all during the show today. I was so just had chill bumps watching your documentary the whole time. I mean, just from the way it was told, the way the can you know, just because, you know, we in the same industry. So, like, I'm looking at it that way, but I'm looking at it as an artist, but then I'm looking at it as an audience member. And for you guys, it was called I'm a Hustle Girl. And let, why don't we let Charmaine tell us about it real quick. Okay, so I'm a hustle girl. It's a, I'm losing my voice. I hope you understand. <laughs> um, it really uh, it was a platform for uh, West Coast females and hip hop to be heard. Um, I featured three artists, uh, Candy Cole, uh, DJ Gigi Sweet, and uh, Lady L. And they're just phenomenal artists. And um, that, that's really what it was about. It's about mm -hmm. girls getting their hustle on and doing it. And doing it just as hard as men or even harder, maybe, yeah. you know. And, a little harder. Uh, and, you know, and, and, uh, but it really showed, you know, the dedication and the heart that a lot of these females have to just mm -hmm. make it happen. And uh, it's hard enough being a hip-hop artist and uh, as a female. Um, and the skill set. And the skill set. I every mean, I single to, person was skilled. I wanted to make sure that that was the case, you know, because a lot of times people feel like females, you know, they're cute, mm -hmm. they're getting by, but no, these females really have skills. Yeah. I mean, it was ridiculous. So I was really happy to be able to showcase their uh, talent. Well, the point definitely got across. The, it, it definitely got across. I mean, they were telling their stories, some of their personal stories. Candy Cole really laid it down, though. She was talking about, oh my gosh, she really laid it down in that because, you know, I love... Um, because we played that today, because I think one of the songs was Back in the Day. Uh -huh. I love that song, because yeah. it does take you back, because she talks about how, you know, she doesn't rap about, like, some of the new stuff now, like the technology. She says, no, I went outside to play. You know, we went and got now laters. We went and did this. We went and did that. And so she says, and that's what my life was, and that's what I rap about. So, like, when we was listening to that song earlier, it really just, we was, like, riding, getting ready for stuff. And we had to stop at one part. She goes, yeah, I had What's the talking part? She says, "Yeah, one time I stole stole my sister's, sister's Walkman. Yeah, uh, Walkman uh, and her Bismarck Yeah, Dale I sold album. Yeah, she got mad. Actually, it was Yes. Uh, oh my God! But I mean, it just <laughs> took you back. All the stuff she was naming, it just took you back to that fun time when we were kids and stuff. You know, and that's the time I really wanted to build back. Yeah, that fun time when we were kids and stuff. You know, and that's the time I really feel bad about that my kids. Well, my older kids got a chance to experience that, but my youngest kid now will never experience that." And his dad and I argue right now because I'm like, um, he only needs maybe one hour of the video game, and he's letting him stay on it. And I, my kids and I, we got in the car. We would just drive. We would stop along the beach and play, gather rocks, or go stop at somewhere to eat. It didn't matter. We would just go. I would, we'd be out of the house. And that's what our kids don't have nowadays. You're doing this. You see on the news. Everybody's fighting. Oh, Oh, wait, did you see the the last? I forgot to bring that up. I just saw that on the news yesterday. I accidentally turned the news on. It was a recorded and, fight. Yeah, it was a recorded fight, and the mother was involved. It was something on Twitter, yep. and you know, on Twitter or Twitter or Facebook. And oh, she said this, and she came to the house, and they start fighting. The mother's kicking her too. Mm -hmm. I mean, just ignorance, ignorance, mm -hmm. because of something that's said or typed. 
I'm like, for real? <laughs> so, you know, that's the kind of nonsense. People get so bold behind a keyboard and all of that stuff. Right. And, and honestly, and then on the flip side of that, people let ego, you know, pay attention to that ignorance. It's like, I don't care what you type. I really don't. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, type in here. You want some more paper? <laughs> it's like, keep but, typing. <laughs> right. But I think it's important what you said because it is about a connection. Mm -hmm. And a lot of us are kind of losing that because of the technology. Absolutely. And so um, that's why I think it's also important that I, I wanted to have this platform because when you're able to connect to just a person anyway, you know, mm -hmm. you can really get to know who they are. And Absolutely. so, you know, we see people in their videos and their music, but we're, it's really rare we're able to make that connection. So I think we're able to do that in that film. You and that's why you really did. connect with the <laughs> in that way. So. You did a wonderful job. We're going to talk more about that, that next great. week. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> So well done. And for anybody that wants to see that trailer, it's on her website. But you know, I'm I tweeted it out like five times a day, <laughs> and I'm gonna be tweeting it out all week and pumping it up. You missed that one. Missed that one. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna tag you in that one. Everybody's got to see that one though. Seriously, that's gonna awesome. be a good one. It's gonna it's gonna give you like goosebumps for real. Whether you're male or female, if you appreciate the art for what it is, just being an art and not looking at it as a male female thing, right. you'll really appreciate it. What's the it. website? It's uh, Sharstarproductions.com. Sharstar. All right, you guys. Sharstar, that's our well, we're going to let Angie, we're going to get on off of here so we can let Angie go to bed. She's in the ATL. Oh, really? <laughs> you guys are still early over there. Yeah, yeah. and I'm about to go have several drinks. <laughs> <laughs> happy, happy hour extended. Yes. Cheers. <laughs> she fading y'all. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Cheers, <laughs> Angela. Thanks for hanging in there, sis. Absolutely, always. Yeah. Happy hour extended on Lipstick Radio. Thanks to our lovely guests and everybody who came out to just hang out with us tonight. We usually are in the confines of our homes. This is something new. Like yeah, it, it was it, it was like something like new. It. it was supposed to be out there, but like you know what? It's cool. Um, I'm gonna see if maybe we can get the bigger studio. I think it'll be more fun. Mm -hmm. Um, but if not, I know that they did say that they were going that area that we walked through, that old bar over there, that they're doing something with that and that Hill wants me, wants me to do it there because that part is tied to the radio station. The restaurant is different. So I think that that's where that thing came from. It's okay though. We're going to set it off next time. We're professional. We're going to set it off. Right? Yeah. 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 And it's more intimate. It's fun. And if Next time we have drink get up past ramp. Right there, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> and then I can play some music next time. Yeah. So there we go. And a major shout out to our comedians in the house. I know um, Michael Collier just left, and Miss Williamson. What's her first name again? Dang. Ooh. Ah. Denise. Ooh. Denise. Denise. Yeah. Denise Williamson. And you're comedian as well. Yes. Right. Daisy Douglas. Douglas. I'll be at Inside Jokes this Saturday, oh, Saturday night. Yes. Yep. Here yeah, in Hollywood. Um, both in Hollywood. Yeah, both of them. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Oh. We always kick off happy hour with comedians. That's just the signature trademark, so we thank you guys for coming, too. Yeah, all all the artists. Oh, you'll be on next. Don't yeah. worry. Matter of fact, maybe if you guys can come together next time again. So we'll right. we'll solidify the date for you and uh, make it happen. All right. Sounds good. All right, y'all. Thank you. Bye, Angie. Bye. 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 Bye.